In this Properties Art tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your ACH and credit cards in Properties Art. The first thing you do is you have to set up your Stripe account. You go over to your gear icon in the top right hand corner next to the sticky notes and it opens up your subscriber page. The next thing you do is go to the Stripe tab and you'll have a connect with Stripe button. Once you connect with Stripe, you, you'll have a different button. I'll show that to you in a moment. So we'll click on connect with Stripe. It opens up a new tab and you simply put in your phone number, email, and hit continue. It's just a very simple process. I won't do it on this. You'll just hit continue and within uh, a minute or two your account will be set up. Then when you come back into properties are, you will have, and you come back to the gear icon, you go to the Stripe tab. Now your button will say disconnect from Stripe. So if you're not connected, you will see connect with Stripe. And once you are connected with Stripe, you will see the button that says disconnect Stripe. Very straightforward. Now that you have your Stripe account created, now you can add payment methods for your tenants. Now the Stripe is only used for ACH and credit cards. Stripe is, for those who don't know, is, is like a competitor to PayPal. So they're the same type of company. So they only provide ACH and credit cards. We recommend using e-checks throughout Properties R, and that's covered under another tutorial. E-checks are much less uh, costly for per transaction, uh, but the Stripe is for credit cards and ACH. Credit cards are the most expensive, and they will be 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. A tenant certainly would not want to pay their rent uh, through credit cards. Although, if you set this up, they could in case they have an emergency. But they could use the credit cards to pay for the application fee, for example, a $30 whatever application fee. So it, it would be uh, beneficial to go ahead and set up your Stripe account. It's very simple to do. And just in case someone wants to pay something by credit card. The ACH is also offered through Stripe, and it's a little less expensive, or a lot less. It's 0.08% or a $5 cap. So if you have a, a $400 rent payment, it'll be 0.8% of that. If it's more than $5, it just stops at $5. So if you have a $1,000 rent, it's going to be a $5 uh, transaction fee. Now, all these fees are typically passed on to the tenant through uh, a convenience fee uh, account type. Um, so it's not that you're paying for it. You'd pass it on, but still, if you can get use e-checks for a dollar transaction as opposed to $5 a transaction for ACH, that's what we recommend. The other thing with Stripe or ACH and credit cards is only the tenant can pay their rent, pay online through, um, through ACH or credit cards. We don't have the ability for you, the subscriber, to pay the, your vendors or the owners or the owners to pay you uh, through the ACH or credit cards. Just simply because of the cost of it, uh, we, we integrated that with eChecks. eChecks will be a separate video. You can look for that and look out on how to set up eChecks. That's what we recommend. Okay, getting back to this. So the Stripe you'll want to set up in case you want to accept credit cards from a tenant. So now that my Stripe account is set up, then all you need to do is simply go over to the tenants and you can start adding your, the bank accounts or the credit cards to, the, to each tenant. Now in addition, the tenant can also add their own credit cards and payment methods through the mobile app. I'll show you just an image of the mobile app that they will see. This is the mobile app and so here when they're making a payment they have a button that says add a verify payment method up top and then when they click on that they can add their own credit card or bank account and then they can verify their bank account. So they can do it online themselves. So if you don't want to do it, just tell them to use the, the mobile app and they can do it. In the event that they don't use the mobile app, then you, you can manually do it yourself through the properties are. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. So let's say we pick on Fraser Crane here. We click on his name. And I went over to tenants over the left, brought up Fraser Crane. And now there's a payment method tab. You click on payment method. Uh, these are banks, digital checks, which I'll show that to you on the next video. That's for the e-checks. 
and then credit cards. You simply click new payment method here, choose defaults to bank. You can choose uh, the ACH or the eCheck. Uh, of course, ACH uses directly to a bank and eCheck is directly to a bank. Um, technically, they're not really any different. They, they're still, um, they still go directly into your bank account um, and connect to a bank as opposed to a credit card, but they're provided by two different companies. Stripe provides the ACH and eCheck is provided by Checkbook, which is another company. Okay, If you choose a credit card, then it's only available through Stripe, so there's no other option to pick here. You just fill out the appropriate information, pretty straightforward, and then you hit, uh, and it tells you the fee too, by the way, right here. So then you hit save, and it'll add that credit card. Once the credit card's added to the tenant, in this case, Fraser Crane, he can pay rent or any invoice uh, immediately using the credit card. It's, it's available for immediate action. If you do a bank, it takes one to two business days only the first time you set up the account. So once you put in, if you want to do the Stripe account, which is different fees, and it'll tell you what the fees are as you select them, ACH or eCheck, a dollar transaction. Um, so if you choose a bank, choose ACH. Once you fill either one of these in, either provider, it both work the same way. It takes one to two business days to, to verify the bank account. All that means is once you put the bank account in here, and you hit save, it automatically triggers uh, the provider, Stripe or Checkbook, to, to, to uh, make those micro deposits, the two micro deposits they make. And what it simply does is makes two small amounts, deposit amounts into this bank account, 20 cents, you know, 39 cents, something like that. And then uh, in one to two business days, the tenant needs to go to their bank account uh, online or call them or however they access their account and they can need to look at those two deposits know what those numbers are and then they come in here and verify once it's verified it's ready to be used for payments okay it's it's very simple to do it just takes one to two business days okay so once you fill this in you hit save it'll trigger uh, a, a new it'll trigger those micro deposits so I'm not going to do that here I've already got some created and if I pull up uh, another tenant, which I believe I have one created for this person. Okay, and so now I've added the bank account. You know, this is an, a different tenant, and I've already added it. But once it's added, it'll show up here, and then this button will here will highlight and will say uh, something along the lines of verify. Then you need to put in the two amounts, amount one, amount two, the, the two small micro deposits, and hit the button verify. And then it will verify and confirm that that's the right amount. And then it turns green, just like this is. And now this account is ready to be used. Um, this account can be used for uh, making payments, okay, uh, through ACH or whichever one you chose. Okay, so you can't, you don't need to verify it again. And then, and then I also have a credit card uh, tied to this tenant as well, so he can pay by credit card or he can pay by bank. Again, very simple to do uh, on a bank. It just takes one to two days. The next video will be on how to set up e-checks. It's basically the same way, except you don't have to set up the Stripe account because we don't. It's our, you don't need to do that with e-checks. The other thing to note is while we're talking about the Stripe, the ACH, and the credit cards, the other thing to note is ACH or credit cards is only available for the tenant to pay you their invoices. The, if you want to use uh, eChecks, which is why we recommend, eChecks works throughout the whole system, meaning you as a subscriber, the tenant, the vendors, and the owners. So you can receive or send money to the tenant if you have to return their security deposit, for example. You, you can pay the vendors. You as a subscriber can pay the vendors uh, if you use eCheck. It's only available through eCheck. You can also pay the owners, maybe the transfer their their net profits at the end of each month. You can transfer that through eCheck directly to the owner. And the owner can pay you either their, uh, their invoice for your management fee if you're a property manager, or they can send you money to fund their account if they have some repairs to be done on one of their properties. They can send you money. Point is the eCheck works all the way around between vendors, tenants, and owners and you. Okay, all the way back and forth uh, bi-directional. 
ACH and payment and credit cards only work for the tenant to make online payments to you to pay their invoices. Okay, that's the difference. Again, we recommend, highly recommend the the e-checks all the way around. Uh, it's cheaper and it, it, it's more fully integrated. And but if you want to set up your Stripe account, this is how you do it. And this is always good. Stripe is always good in case the tenant needs to pay by credit card. You can at least offer that option. Uh, again, if they want to pay their application fee of thirty dollars, whatever it is, that's that would be a, a valid uh, use of the credit card as opposed to setting up the e-check. You can look forward to more Property Zard tutorials. You can also visit us at Property Zard. That's propertyzar.com.